for this one, you really need to know that circumference equals diameter times pi. The radius is from the edge of the circle to the center, and the diameter would be from edge of the circle through the center to the other side. So in this case, the radius is 2 and the diameter is 4. To find the circumference of this one, I would just take the diameter times pi. So I take 4 times 3.14, that equals 12.56. On the IXLs, if you use the pi button, it's not going to work. It has to be 3.14. If you round it from there, no, it's not going to work. It has to be 3.14 for pi or else all those answers will be wrong. To find the area of a circle, you take the radius times the radius times pi. Adults will say um, pi r squared, which is the same thing. In this case, since the radius is 2, you would take 2 times 2 times pi, and that works out, and just coincidentally, it'll be 12.56. In the IXL assignment, they're going to give you um, a bunch of different situations. Sometimes they'll just say, here's the diameter, what's the radius? And sometimes they'll say, here's the circumference, find the area. So in that case, if they say this, they have the circumference, you would say the circumference equals 12.56, and you need to find the area, first of all, you need to break it down and find the diameter. Then it would be 12.56 divided by pi. And this will work out so that the diameter is 4. Once you have the diameter is 4, then you'll know that the radius is 2, and then you can just do 2 times 2 times pi to find the area. In another case, they might give you one where the area is like 50.24, and you'll need to find the radius. This one's just a little bit trickier. You just have to take the area divided by pi. That'll give you r squared. So it'll be the r times r. That's the tricky part. It's really not that bad. So I would take 50.24 divided by pi. So I take 50.24 divided by 3.14 because you use 3.14, not the pi button, because you get the wrong answer that way. It won't be the IXL answer. And you get 16. Now you're not done yet because 16 actually equals R squared. You want R. So to get rid of the R squared, you take the square root of each side. You get 4 equals R. Now we're set. We can do anything that we want with that one. So if R is 4, diameter is, is 8, and then to find circumference, if I want to, I can just take the diameter times pi, I just take 8 times 3.14, and it's 25.12. So no matter what the case is, if you can get R, if you can get D, you can find the circumference or you can find the area. You can break the area down to find the radius by taking the area divided by pi, and for this one, 3.14, then take the square root of that number, gives you the radius. Radius times 2 is the diameter. Diameter times pi is the circumference. So you just really need to know Area equals radius times radius times pi. If you know the area, the area divided by pi will give you the radius times the radius. You take that number that you end up with and take the square root of both. That becomes the radius. For circumference, you take circumference equals diameter times pi. Or if you know the circumference, circumference divided by pi will give you the diameter, and the diameter, half of the diameter, is the radius.